evening and welcome viewers. Tonight, I will go granular into the exit polls of yesterday and the big picture that they predict and here are my initial thoughts. The BJP comeback in MP is terrific and most unexpected. The basic funda being followed by the anti-BJP group was that the BJP's grip over the Hindi heartland is lessening. But if this is the trend, that two of the three Hindi heartland states are going to the BJP and the third is closed, then in terms of 2024, the BJP goes in with a huge advantage. If the Hindi heartland has turned decisively pro-BJP, then the fight becomes that much more difficult in Bihar, for example, for Nitish Kumar. And also, the BJP gets an upper edge in the fight for Jharkhand. You see, viewers, the Hindi heartland does not vote as one. There are too many local factors. But there is a domino effect. And there is, in some level, a coalescing of factors. And this could mean that the Modi factor is stronger now than it was in 2018. If the Modi factor is stronger today after five years, then the possibility of a sweep in the Hindi heartland majorly strengthens the BJP's chances of equaling or improving its 2019 record. It's pure mathematics. Now to Telangana. Here the story is different. The BJP has not been able to. In fact, the BJP has failed to turn the BRS vote share towards itself. Why so? There are many views. For example, has the BJP been focused too much on Delhi, on the Aam Aadmi Party and because of its constant fight and focus on the Aam Aadmi Party, has the BJP been short-sighted in assessing the national threat of a Congress resurgence? Has the BJP underestimated the Congress? Also, remember the Congress still has very strong state leaders and for the BJP, it's the opposite. Except a few states like Uttar Pradesh and Yogi and Assam and Himanta Biswa Sarma and to some extent, to some extent, I would say Devendra Fadnavis and Maharashtra. The positioning, strength, independence and autonomy of the state leaderships is unclear. And there is no clear leader. On the other hand, in Telangana, the Congress has been very practical in getting Revana Reddy as the new and main face. So they have a leader and the BJP has none. You see, unlike the BJP in Karnataka too, the Congress put up a tough fight and won convincingly because it had a face, a leader, an operations man, like a chief operating officer for the party at a local level. In the case of Karnataka, it was DK Shivakumar. DK Shivakumar worked hard and delivered the state to the Congress leadership. My own point of view here, is that somewhere the BJP is making a big mistake by A, being complacent about the urgent need to have strong state leaders and B, in being complacent about the Congress. And the Congress party has, if not at a central level, the state leaders of the Congress party have shown the ability to take advantage of that complacency. So somewhere I think the BJP is focused so much on the national election that the state elections are not as much of its focus. Of course, this is all before the results on the 3rd. And let me tell you, I am humble enough to know that results always bring a surprise. But these are some initial thoughts. And I think the BJP needs to introspect about that. Lastly, my last point tonight is this. The India Alliance, which was almost over, is dead now. And that is because no regional party will tie up with the Congress before the elections. The Trinamool Congress will not want to become the BRS. Mamta Banerjee will severely tone down her national ambitions and squarely focus on Bengal. So will Nitish, so will Lalu, so will Akhilesh, so will Tejasvi. What does this mean? This means Nitish, Lalu, Tejasvi, Akhilesh and all of the other India Alliance leaders will not give a single inch in terms of seat sharing arrangements before 2024. Which means no seat sharing arrangements, no India Alliance. That is my take for now. Let's debate. And I'm on one big debate tonight. The litmus test for 2024. And the signals I'm reading. And debate number two with Abhishek Kapoor today. Narayan Murthy's comment triggers a big debate on freebies. He's speaking his mind. I support him a lot. And 10.30pm, we punch loopholes to the US charge sheet in the Panoon case.
Ladies and gentlemen, three big debates and here are the headlines. Here are the headlines this Friday evening on the debate tonight. Blockbuster election result coverage on Sunday. It will be the biggest litmus test for 2024. BJP relies heavily on the Modi factor. Without the state leadership, can the party still sail through? Exit polls predict Congress edge in two states. Question emerge over the dynamics in the India line. BJP claims hotels being booked in Karnataka is the Congress trying to keep the flock together by resorting to resort politics again. Provide those services. When you provide those subsidies, there must be something in return that they are willing to do. Infosys founder Narayan Murthy sparks freebies debate. Says nothing should be given for free. Aaj mein is month se 2028 mein COP 33 summit ko Bharat mein host karne ka prastav bhi rakta hu. With four addresses and several bilaterals, Prime Minister Narendra Modi sets the agenda at COP28, calls for COP33 to be hosted in India. And ladies and gentlemen, 48 hours from now, we'll have an absolutely clear picture of the state results. Time now is to talk about what we are reading from the results so far and if they indicate any trend. Let's debate. Five states that send over 80 members to parliament. And that's why this election is closely watched by all as a semi-final to 2024. As per exit polls, BJP could emerge as front-runner in Madhya Pradesh. BJP ka 43.4%, vote share Congress ka 41.7%, yani 41.7% and others 14.9%. Madhya Pradesh ka abhishek, ye vote percentage hai. हमारे सभी कार्यकर्ताओं का अनथक परिश्रम और जनता का प्यार और आशीर्वाद केंद्र की योजनाएं भी चाहे वो पीएम गरीब कल्याण योजना हो या पीएम किसान सम्मान निधि हो उन्हीं को ढंग से नीचे पहुंचाने का परिणाम है कि भारतीय जनता पार्टी फिर शानदार बहुमत प्राप्त करने जा रही है कुछ एग्जिट पोल जानबूझकर इसीलिए बनाए गए हैं कि कांग्रेस कार्यकर्ता निराश होए और झूठा माहौल दिखाकर अधिकारियों पर दबाव बनाया जाए ये पर्यंत कामयाब होने वाला नहीं है 3 दिसंबर को कांग्रेस पार्टी की सरकार बन रही है राजस्थान कुछ सी बीजेपी रिटर्न टू पावर एस पर एक्सिट पोल्स राजस्थान के वोट शेयर अगर मैं बताऊं तो कांग्रेस 38.6 और बीजेपी Will the numbers be enough? BJP is hinting at resort politics by Congress. Look, they have their old habit that they have been able to build the government of the Bhavudan Samaj Party, and they have been able to build the government of the government. They have been able to build the government of the government, but this time, their own government will be so little that they will not be able to build the government of the government. Will two states be enough for BJP to help boost their 2024 numbers? BJP has been relying heavily on the Modi factor, showing lack of leadership at the state level. Is that why Congress could be retaining power in Chhattisgarh as per the exit polls? Cool seat, Nabe. 44 se 52 seats there in Congress ko Chhattisgarh mein aur 34 se 42 seat there in BJP ko. And a projected win in Telangana would mean Congress is emerging as a challenger to regional parties. BJP ke vote percent 10.8 percent hai sir. BRS का 41.6 फीसदी वोट शेयर अभी भी है, कांग्रेस का 43.3 फीसदी वोट शेयर और MIM का 2.4 2.4 फीसदी का ये वोट शेयर है। मेरा एसेसमेंट है 
बी आर एस ट्वेंटी फाइव से ज़्यादा सीट नहीं मिलने वाले हैं माई टारगेट इज़ बी आर एस एनी वे आई एम गोइंग टू फॉर्म द गवर्नमेंट आई नो द बट आई वॉन्टेड टू स्टाफ बी आर एस मैक्सिमम द नंबर ऑफ ट्वेंटी फाइव यू आर लुकिंग फॉर कांग्रेस यू आर स्पीकिंग विद पी सी सी प्रेजिडेंट Would the results impact the dynamics in India Alliance with Congress projected to get two states? The five state election result is truly the litmus test for 2024. Let's debate. Four questions. And my first question and I want everyone to be brief about this. first question if the bjp wins rajasthan and mp is it enough for the bjp you know or is the bjp happy with two out of four and two going to the congress is that a good situation for the bjp uh, i want to start with ajit nahar who is a congress leader and he's joining us from kolkata ajit nahar What do you think? If the BJP yeah. wins Rajasthan and MP from a Congress point of view, is it enough for the BJP? Exit poll says that uh, BJP is leading in Rajasthan and MP, but I don't think we are coming there with full majority because there is no question about it about the Gelo government work and uh, the Thep government in the Madhya Pradesh, and we are getting absolute majority also in Chhattisgarh and Telangana. So uh, it's clear mandate in the favor of Congress. and this 2023 like state elections but my question was different my question was from a national perspective since this is about mood setting uh anjali rai yeah. of the aam aadmi party if the bjp wins rajasthan and mp in terms of setting the mood before 2024 is it enough for the bjp it's it's maybe my question to anjali please on the right it's not uh, yeah yeah it's not enough for yeah. bjp uh, but uh, yeah. maybe Anna. start uh, the rebirth of congress and uh, in 2024 anjali please uh, i mentioned thank you to producer right now. yeah anna my question was to anjali Anna's. please producers thank you anjali right and then we are talking yes. about the, uh, yes anna yes anna we are talking about the five states which sends about 83 mps in the parliament and most of the channels are predicting but only one state for the bjp i have seen all the exit polls and most of the exit polls are predicting only one state for the bjp and i think it's really a dangerous condition for bjp because uh, they are losing all the states after uh, they lost karnataka in spite of uh, doing so uh, such extensive campaigning modi ji himself did 19 rallies and six road shows but they lost there and then uh, they lost in himachal they lost delhi and city elections also and if they are going to lose in these states in spite of fielding prominent people like mps and junior ministers if they lose here also then they should understand where do they stand and secondly i want to tell you that uh, in the uh, last uh, general elections in uh, 2019 uh, uh they were having very Congress strong uh, allies but uh, now this big allies Hello. of bjp Ajit. like jdu Ajit. like uh, akali dal all india anna dmk shiv sena rnp have already left bjp and talking about their present allies 16 allies there are 16 allies uh, secured only zero seats in last election general elections Five allies uh, secured only one seat, and nine allies did even participate in parliament elections. So uh, I think if they do, if they get only one state, then uh, definitely it reflects that they are really in serious condition. Well, and, I'm I'm beginning uh, with an I'm I'm beginning with an assumption, and, uh, and I, I'm beginning there. I'm beginning Anjali ji, Anjali ji, Anjali ji, I am beginning with an assumption. that the bjp wins rajasthan and turns around in madhya pradesh because that is what my exit poll shows and i disagree with you that is what most exit polls show mp going for bjp but you have to put this together with the congress performance in telangana sanju and hmm. i began my program today by saying that unlike the, unlike the congress you don't have a face in madhya pradesh 
you don't have a face in telangana you don't have a face in rajasthan you have to accept this and okay. if with a face a relatively young leader like revant reddy allow me to complete you've got a face you got a hungry aggressive relatively young re leader like revant reddy full charge given to him decisions taken at a state level and not a central level if the vote share is moving from brs dramatically to congress and not to bjp then you cannot afford to be complacent about it so i'm putting these two questions together to you one if the congress if the is the if the bjp wins rajasthan and mp only is that enough for bjp second question is the congress come back in telangana indicative of something okay. sanju a very pertinent questions uh, uh, you know or not i've never known you to ask such lengthy questions you know that is something which rajdeep sarde sai does his questions are longer than the responses he elicits uh, but be that as it may on a more serious note i just have this to say to you uh, i admit that there is an anti establishment vote against the brs and the congress has been able to capitalize on it there is not denying that having said that and this is with no offense to you or not i am flummoxed i am surprised and i am disappointed too prior to the exit polls i have been in a zillion debates and the big story was how the bjp is going to be crushed after its 18 year old long run in madhya pradesh because of a heavy anti incumbency against the very concept of a double engine sarkar uh, you know add to that the anti incumbency against shivraj singh chauhan and i am surprised that today we are not disputing the fact that the congress or the brs one of them is likely to be at the helm of affairs in telangana but i am surprised that the entire narrative has shifted from how the congress has been crushed obliterated at the heart of the hindi heart belt that is madhya pradesh and how the bjp after 18 long years has turned anti incumbency into pro incumbency nobody seems to be giving bjp credit for that it's not a significant achievement it's a mammoth gigantic achievement by any stretch of imagination and if political pundits are unable to take cognizance of that too bad for them point number 2 rajasthan and madhya pradesh together give you around 54 lok sabha seats about uh, 25 from rajasthan and uh, 29 from madhya pradesh last time out of these 54 lok sabha seats from these two states we got 52 we got 24 out of 25 in rajasthan we got 28 out of 29 in madhya pradesh so there our tally remains intact that is point number 1 and point number 2 assuming that the congress wins telangana and chatisgarh the total lok sabha seats from chatisgarh and telangana are only 28 28 versus rajasthan and madhya pradesh which is in bjp city which is 54 so let's be very clear that the bjp is firmly in the saddle and teesri baar narendra modi pradhan mantri ban kar aa rahe hain 2024 mein because you cannot win a lok sabha election without having the hindi heart belt in your kitty and last but not the least let's be very clear about one thing people keep saying oh congress has won karnataka and now congress is also flexing its muscles uh, with uh, relevant vote shares in telangana have you forgotten in 2013 bjp had its worst showing in local assembly elections in karnataka when we managed to get delhi 40 40 seats but what was our tally in lok sabha 2014 from karnataka 1717 seats our lowest from karnataka in the last three lok sabha elections is 1717 congress is highest in karnataka in the last three lok sabha elections is 9 so again let's not compare apples with watermelons last but not the least i keep saying we bjp has a captive voter base of 23.7 crore voters even if you assume a 10 or 15% addition to that you know it means we will have 27 28 crore voters who will be voting for narendra modi no questions asked in 2024 so where is the opposition and that to a debilitated and fractured Anna. opposition which does not believe in the congress and the congress is running its own right, game right. i i i, I while, oh, one minute you have okay anna, anna. sanju now sanju anna. sanju uh, before i bring in anurag and varis
अनुराग जी इफ यू अलाउ मी आई गो टू वारिस फर्स्ट एंड देन टू यू बिकॉज वारिस विल कम बिफोर यू बोलो एक मिनट एक मिनट एक मिनट आई आई जस्ट आई जस्ट वांट टू मेक अ पॉइंट अनुराग संजू नहीं नहीं अनुराग वन मिनट एक सेकंड एक सेकंड एक सेकंड एक सेकंड एक सेकंड संजू वर्मा जी ने बोला कि उनका ऐसा बता रहे जैसे 2024 का चुनाव हो गया भारतीय जनता पार्टी सरकार में आ गई अब इतने ही आपको अब पहले आप पांच जो अभी स्टेट के चुनाव है अभी एग्जिट पोल आया है एग्जिट पोल परसों आ जाएगा डे आफ्टर टूमोरो और आपकी हार तय आप भी मानते हो अंदर से कि आप आ रहे हो मध्य प्रदेश भी आ रहे हो राजस्थान भी आ रहे हो तेलंगाना भी आ रहे हो किसने कहा मध्य प्रदेश हार रहे हैं आप कौन से दुनिया में रहते हैं समाजवादी पार्टी जीत रही है समाजवादी पार्टी प्रदेश में बीजेपी जीत रही है राजस्थान में बीजेपी जीत रही है छत्तीसगढ़ में भी हम सरकार बनाएंगे सपने देखना बंद कीजिए आपका कोई वजूद नहीं है आपकी पार्टी का उत्तर प्रदेश से वजूद उठा दिया गया जनता ने आपको भजिया आपके धज्जी और आखिर आपको दो हजार सत्रह में भी बाहर कर दिया उत्तर प्रदेश का वजूद दो हजार बाईस में भी उत्तर प्रदेश का असेंबली चुनाव याद आकर भाषण मत दीजिए इतनी जा रही है स्टार्ट लाइटिंग लाइक दिस एंड मेकिंग जीरो सेंस बना सकते बिना समाजवादी पार्टी के वहाँ किसी की सरकार नहीं बनने जा रही बीजेपी के तो बनी नहीं रही है खुद के बलबूते पर मध्य प्रदेश में सरकार बनाई अच्छी बात है मुस्लिम वोट इन तेलंगाना मूव टूवर्ड्स द कांग्रेस हैज द मुस्लिम वोट इन तेलंगाना मूव टूवर्ड्स द कांग्रेस एंड आई एम दैट्स वाई आस माई सेकेंड क्वेश्चन टूडे इज द कांग्रेस कम बैक इन तेलंगाना इंडिकेटिव ऑफ समथिंग before before you respond i want to make a small point i wanted to earlier you see sanju must also you must be humble the bjp has not been able to make effective inroads in kerala tamil nadu kerala andhra and telangana and it is a while the while while if you थैंक यू वेरी मच अनुराग जी आप जरा मुझे डिस्टर्ब ना कीजिए प्लीज मैं अपनी बात कर रहा आप बोल रहे थे मैं सुन रहा था कुछ है ना तो मैं उनको बताता हूँ बस सपना देखना चाहिए लेकिन अनुराग ठीक अभी मेरी बात ये है मैं दे दे गो अगेन नो आई डोंट वॉन्ट दिस माई माई पॉइंट इज यू सी द पॉइंट ऑफ कंसर्न फॉर द बीजेपी शुड बी इफ तमिलनाडु केरला आंध्रा तेलंगाना यू नो BJP has not been able to make effective inroads. Well, you were asking question and to me. And if DK Shivakumar <laughs> is a great <laughs> operation, I'm asking you. I'm just making a point. If DK Shivakumar, DK Shivakumar is and Devant Reddy kind of leaders are there in Congress who can turn things around at a local level. Now, together with that, if the Muslim vote goes from other parties to the Congress, I don't know. There is nothing to prove that the Muslim vote has moved in Telangana. but that is what people are saying so the muslim vote and mass across india moves to congress if the muslim vote strongly moves well, well, to congress well, well, no 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 then, then parties no, like mim will point. be the first may to be affected no, yes. no 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 may I answer or no yes you may i first of all i would like you to extend to me the same courtesy which you extended to the bjp spokesperson otherwise i will keep my mouth shut and i will sit quite mr extended so i mean the first thing we are contesting only on no, no, nine seats that. in telangana earlier we contested seven we have got seven sitting mlas out of the nine take it from me in writing there we are winning seven seats with huge margins and on the two seats there also there is a tough competition but i am sure that we will be winning there i am also sure that the work which is done by the kcr and his party brs the people have voted for them this is an edit, uh, exit poll not an exact poll let the results come and kcr might become the finisher for the third consecutive time because the work which he has done in the development field i have seen with my own eyes in telangana now coming back to the shifting of the muslim votes and let me tell you all we were having 3% vote share earlier election Now also the exit polls are showing that we are having three percent, but I think the vote share which we have got 
has increased considerably in the years because they have seen the work done by the MIM party all over Telangana and in the country. In if you talk about Madhya Pradesh, everywhere you are losing your vote share to Congress, sir. But everywhere you are losing the Muslim vote to the Congress, sir. Jiski jitni sankhya bari uski allow me, allow me, allow me. Don't don't interrupt. In Madhya Pradesh, Congress said jiski jitni sankhya bari uski itni se dari. There are 230 seats, nine percent Muslim population. How many seats the Congress gave to the Muslims? Only two. Only to why? So we got calls from Madhya Pradesh. They said, sir, come here. They are not giving us tickets. So we went there, contested. And I am hopeful and sure in Buranpur also will be winning with good margin. In Madhya Pradesh, we will be opening our account. In Rajasthan, for the first time, we contested only on eight seats. But we have left everything to the Congress. But let me tell you what I have seen with my own eyes in Madhya Pradesh, Rajasthan and Telangana especially, that the BJP and Congress are the two sides of the same coin. In, on several, in several constituencies, on several of the seats, the Congress and the BJP came together to see to it that the MIM loses the election. I have seen it. I can name Raja Singh seat. Why did the Congress give a dummy candidate there in Gosha Mahal? Because they wanted to ensure Raja Singh wins. In Nampalli, the Congress candidate and the BJP were together. The BJP never came for campaigning also because they wanted to see to it that the uh, MIM candidate loses. But people Arnab. have voted. On the last day of the voting, on the day of the voting, Arnab, let me tell you, this Congress goons, they came there with heavy goons and they started issuing threats. The police had to be called and our candidate was also detained for one hour because they wanted to make it sure that the Muslims don't go and vote in that constituency. And that is what a fear and atmosphere was created that it please. But people voted. And let me tell you, I am sure we will be winning. And as far as KCR is concerned, he's a very nice person. He has done a great job, hard work hard. And actually, it's a people's mandate. There are so many exit polls which I've been seeing in the last two days. All the exit polls are showing different, different, different figures. But one thing is sure, Modi is Tata, bye-bye in all the five states. The BJP has gone. And in 2024, Arda, BJP You can't have four people from the opposition and your friend Modi will be gone. Tata, bye bye. So let's not talk about. No, I think I think uh, I think I'll bring in I'll, I'll bring in I'll bring in Subrashka and Advaita at this point. I'm, I'm bringing in everyone. Uh, uh, let me let me go to Subrashka first. Thank you. Let me. Don't let me let me let me go to Subrashtra first. Don't, One minute, please. Don't interject when I'm now, making my point. Allow, I won't now, allow you to make your point, Sanju. Then I won't allow you to make a single point. Then. Allow me to complete my point first. You can continue to cry. Continue you to yes. sulk and whine. Why are you fighting? 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 The country has given you a tata yeah, bye bye. Go back, Modi, go back. Go back to Dubai. Amber, Stop making a fool of yourself. Indian Muslim ko gale milne ka time nahi hai Modi ji ke paas. Bharat ya Muslim ke liye Muslim gale milne ka time nahi hai Modi ji ke paas. Chhe ko gale milne ka time hai aapke paas. That is the reason your rally is down seven to five as per exit polls. No, 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 it is a clear cut mandate for 2024. The people are fed up of the BJP. He's a five time MP from Hyderabad. Does he have any? Are Asad always say in the national the equation, again. no. Asad always his party will be winning all Does the seats. Does Ayman have any say in the national scheme of things? The answer is no. Has Ayman been able to capitalize on the party. You, you, you Muslim you have an party. polarization you have in Greater Hyderabad? The answer like is this. no. Is Ayman going okay, so, to so be able to capitalize on the party? Okay, so one angle here I want to look at. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I will continue to focus the debate in the direction I would like. And I would like to just make a point on the caste census now if you can if you can listen to me for a minute. Why you are coming If you can listen to me for a minute. If you can listen to me for a minute. For you. This is a gold medal for you. Listen to me, sir. One more feather in your What is? What is? What is? I'm told I'm told that when you went campaigning last time you shouted so much that the stage fell. Last time when Varish Pathan went campaigning, he shouted so fell. much from the stage that the stage <laughs> fell. And Varish sent me a video. Varish sent me a video no, of that. I'll show you. I'll show you. I'm not. I don't want to make fun about his accident. Sub stage pe aage mujhe gale lagane. Yeah. Yes. I sh uh, yes, the, the video was viral. But, but you were campaigning viral. in the Makwana in Rajasthan. You shouted so me. much. You hai. moved your hands about yes. so much that the stage <laughs> fell. <coughs> and I you had to be rescued so by your BJP supporters. Because I have BJP the video BJP with me. Lost. 
I'll be yeah, so so don't make the stage fall now. Me. I'll show you that Otherwise video. Now, 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 <laughs> on a serious note, Subhrashta, on a serious note, Subhrashta, I would people. be very worried Everybody if... Everybody came on the stage. I, I would be very worried if I was Rahul Gandhi. Thank God I'm not. If 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 you look at the if you if you if you look at the fact that in the Hindi heartland, in the Hindi heartland, in the Hindi heartland, the caste census issue has not made any impact. Singular issue with which Congress is going to the elections in the Hindi heartland, especially, is the caste census. With Congress saying that it is an X-ray. Now, if that X-ray has not worked in Madhya Pradesh and Rajasthan, right, and you are seeing some exit polls which are showing, for example, that the BJP gets 58% Brahmin, 56% OBC, 43% ST and 41% SC community votes. This is only one of the exit polls, which means... The attempt to put BJP on back foot on the caste census issue has failed. This again strengthens the fact that the BJP will remain strong in the Hindi heartland. But has been unable over four years to make a significant dent in the south. Jati Janganna ka koi impact nahi hua bhai saab is election mein. Jati Janganna ka koi prabhaab nahi ta. Koi prabhaab nahi ta. Sushat Subrashtya ko kuch bolne de. Nei mein nahi sununga. Unki baat bhi sunne na. Anurag ji, mein bolun. Aap Bharti Janta Party se apne khunna sab. Subrashtya ko mein ne amantrit kiya hai. Mujhe apne baat bolne dijiye. उनको रिक्वेस्ट किया है तो मैं कुछ बहुत पेशेंटली सुना मैंने आपको नौ बज के छत्तीस मिनट हो चुके हैं मैंने बहुत पेशेंटली सुना सारे पॉलिटिशियन कंटिन्यू कंटिन्यू आल्सो सुब्रह यू आल्सो डोंट स्टॉप डोंट स्टॉप द अरना द प्रॉब्लम द प्रॉब्लम विद द ऑपोजिशन टुडे इज एक्सेक्टली दिस that they rake up issues which has the potential of literally shaking the political establishment of this country. However, they are so bereft of any intellectual investment on those counts that they completely allow the matter to fritter away. This happened in the case of caste census also. And I agree with you that the caste census has made absolutely no dent in what the BJP is with respect to the Hindi heartland north of the Vindhyas. Let us also take uh, this opportunity to criticize the BJP fair and square on the fact that they have not been able to make any inroads into the South effectively. And this has come from a fact that BJP actually has zero effective strategy in dealing with this with South India. And I think this is a this is a genuine uh, uh, you know suggestion from a, a consensus a Indian point. voter. Who has been yes? Who has been supportive of the BJP on certain ideological issues that they really need to get their house in order and start thinking afresh on South uh, on South India because this is one time when Mr. Modi is at the helm when actually there is no challenger to the BJP in terms of narrative. If they are to effectively play with the regional players or play against the regional players, whatever strategy they decide on with respect to, uh, you know, uh, the south of the Vindhyas, they might make genuine inroads. But for that, they need to really figure out local leadership. This has happened in case of Tamil Nadu, by the way. The local leadership in Tamil Nadu, especially, uh, you know, the young dynamic leader that they have, they ha all of they all of them have a potential of lifting the BJP's campaign. But beyond one or two faces, they need booth level management to get the party, the uh, you know, the stand perhaps that they deserve. It's not that people are happy with regional parties there. We la we look at state by state. Look at Telangana, for instance. Of course, KCR, true, true. Uh, you know, I, I wouldn't say that KCR is not a loved party. People uh, people like KCR and which is why he's going to come back to power. Uh, but the point is that they have Paris, not been, Paris, BJP has Paris. not been able to Anjali work on its anti-incumbency as effectively as it should have. There is infighting in the party. Everybody knows that. There is no one or two leadership on which they can actually rely on. This is also a fact. And these are issues... क्या बात कर रहे हैं अनुराग जी मैं समाजवादी पार्टी की बात नहीं कर रहा हूँ मैं आपको एक बात क्लियर बता दूं एक बात मैं क्लियर बता दूं आपने आपने उत्तर प्रदेश में जहाँ पे आपका गढ़ हुआ करता था 
जहाँ पे गढ़ हुआ करता होना है उत्तर प्रदेश में आपका आप लीजिए वो लीडर आप, वो लीडर 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 बनाते 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 का वो तो लीडर बनाते जो नहीं जी आप क्या बात कर रहे हैं क्या बात कर रहे हैं अरे इधर तो वजूद खत्म हो गया बीजेपी का मैडम मेरा बीजेपी का तो आपका सरकार गिर गया अरे बाबा मैं तो आपके लिए बोल रही हूँ वारिस भाई मैं तो कह रही हूँ कि आपका आपका डंका बोल रहा है मैं तो ये कह रही हूँ वारिस पठान आपका डंका बोल रहा है मैं अनुराग भदौरिया को कह रही हूँ बिल्कुल कि ये हर कि ये हर मोमेंट पर जो बीच में कूद पड़ते हैं चाहे डिबेट कुछ भी हो रही हो इनको एक मुद्दे पे बोलना होता है मुझसे लड़ना होता है पता नहीं क्यूँ भाई साहब अनुराग जी शांत होकर सुनिए मैं बीजेपी का महिमा मंडल नहीं कर रही भाई साहब आप सुनते भी नहीं है प्रॉब्लम अनुराग आई जेनुअनली वांट टू नो हाउ टू डील विद दिस पर्सन सुब्राष्टा 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 ही डजंट इवन अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट आई एम ट्राइंग टू से आई लाइक टू गो टू नो 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 बट आई आई डू गेट दैट पॉइंट नाउ माय पॉइंट इज आई आई नीड टू आई नीड टू आई नीड टू कांस्टेंटली मेक द पॉइंट दैट इज देयर अ यूनिफाइंग ऑफ द मुस्लिम वोट फॉर द कांग्रेस दिस इज अ रियलिटी अद्वैता The Joint no Action way. Committee no, of no, Telangana no, no. Muslim Organizations no, 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 no. unitedly announced their support for the Congress Party. You ha- you can't say no way and all. Yeah, realize what's happening on the ground. If the Muslim vote is going as one for Congress Party, what? it will make a significant impact. Maybe you'll also go to Congress. What do I know? No, you've been talking i know don't make me open congress my mouth on television how, now how, how, now what percentage of vote <laughs> i i am telling you to uh, congress in madhya pradesh do you have that data do you have the data how many muslims have voted for congress in madhya pradesh rajasthan and telangana do you have that data with you no say so just don't don't go and say this they don't have any alternate we were an alternate but we we contested on very few seats and now that was the difficulty because telangana we have got enough votes not only muslim even the hindu brothers and sisters voted for us और मेरा तो स्टेज गिरा है मोदी का तो का सरकार गिर गया पांच राज्य के अंदर गिर गया पूरा के पूरा आगे चौबीस में तो पूरा बीजेपी हमारा इंटेंशन टारगेट एक ही है बीजेपी को हरा बीजेपी हारी बीजेपी बीजेपी हारना चाहिए बस एक साथ आमले का मिस्टेस टारगेट एक ही है बीजेपी को हराना है शॉन टू विक्ट्री इन मध्य प्रदेश बीजेपी की हार की वजह आपका वन ऑफ मेन वजह बीजेपी लूजिंग द इलेक्शन इस द स्पोक्सपर्सन चीफ मिनिस्टर फेस इन एनी ऑफ द स्टेट्स और नब गोस्वामी इफ दैट वर टू बी द केस हाउ वुड यू रीड द एग्जिट पोल एज वेल द फुल वारिस पठान इज नब आई कांट हियर योर क्वेश्चन आई एम सॉरी आई जस्ट कांट हियर योर क्वेश्चन माय क्वेश्चन टू यू अद्वैत आई विल ट्राई वंस अगेन वाज दैट देयर वाज दिस थ्योरी दैट द बीजेपी इज टेस्टिंग द मोदी फैक्टर इन दीस इलेक्शंस एंड दैट इज व्हाई देयर वाज नो सिंगुलर फेस सेवरल लीडर्स वर सेंट टू मध्य प्रदेश not even in chatisgarh was there a singular face raman singh was yeah, not a singular face tivraj was not a singular face vasundhara was not a singular face there was no singular face in any of the states and the feeling was that the only reason the bjp is doing it it wants to test on the ground how strong is the modi factor on its own before 2024 So this was, in a way, a litmus test for the BJP. If that were to be the case, what message are they getting? 
No, I don't. I don't think that was the reason, Arnab. And let me uh, let me first start off by congratulating you because uh, there's there's one majority that's clear on this panel, and that's more women on this panel on an election analysis panel. So congratulations. One rarely gets to see yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put them on. Yeah. Very happy to note that. Uh, yeah, yeah, you know, so uh, congratulations to you. Uh, but uh, you know, speaking of. Uh, what is the message for Modi, etc., cetera, etc.? Cetera. I find these like such humdrum narratives. Just how many times are you going to test the man's political acumen and political <laughs> appeal? I mean, just what does he have to do for us to not ask this question? And uh, I think it's very clear what Prime Minister Modi brings to the table. I think that this really, for me, was a test of how the India Alliance is going to come together. And I don't think like Sandra should have been worried about what Mr. Anurag Baduria was saying because he said SP is going to be the king maker. <laughs> he was actually speaking more to India the Congress than to the BJP because the way the Congress has snubbed Akhilesh Yadav and treated Akhilesh Yadav in MP, uh, Samajwadi Party has actually been working at odds with them on the ground. So this was a real test of how this so-called alliance, India alliance is going to come together. And I think whatever will be the results. It's a spectacular failure in terms of them getting their act together and providing an alternative to the people of this country. They've been unable to do that. And as far as, you know, not having a CM face, yes, every, every person, Basinda, Raji, Shivrat Singh, Chauhan, Raman Singh, they've all got tickets. They're all in the game. Should the, should the results hold out or bear out and something like an MP? Anurag, Anurag. I mean, Shivrat Singh, Chauhan Anurag, is, has not faced anti-incumbency. He's extremely likable. He, there may be some fatigue because of the number of years, but in terms of a, an actual persona, he's very liked, especially by the women of Madhya Pradesh. So I think the messages that are going to come from this is really the woman voter, how she voted. I think how the Indy Alliance has been able to Anna. patch up this so-called uh, Kichiri Alliance that they're doing. And of course, Achha, uh, Mr. India India, India, India. what you've done to the Congress Achha, and SP, India India is India India now. India 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 they had coffee in Mumbai, Bangalore, everywhere now they are parted ways. They have gone on their own. Tanju Andhra. Madhya Pradesh has played a great game. Anurag Bhai, you have gone. Madhya Pradesh has been fighting for the first time. Madhya Pradesh has been fighting for the first time. Madhya Pradesh has been fighting for the first time. Madhya Pradesh has been fighting for the first time. Madhya Pradesh has been fighting for the first time. Madhya Pradesh has been fighting for the first time. Madhya Pradesh has been fighting for the first time. Madhya Pradesh has been fighting for the first time. Madhya Pradesh if okay i i'll tell you already if the if the margin of victory if the i i if the margin of victory for the bjp is strong in madhya pradesh let me tell you it's going to be a big jolt to the india alliance last question Impact on India line. Then the hero of that victory will be uh, Akhilesh Yadav. First to Sanju. One minute. One. Oh, Sanju. Uh, Thank to you. Sanju Arishan. and then Anjali, please. Impact on India line. Sanju versus Anjali. Sanju first. He was the person okay. who said that. Arnav, I think, uh, you know, Advaita made a very important point. You know, even if the BJP loses a small Zilla Panchayat election, Modi's credibility is tested. No, say, but you know, Yahan Rahul Gandhi has because lost of 56 you. out of the 59 elections. But people say, sir, Chandrasi and the Congress is making a comeback. You know, BRS has been annihilated in Northern Telangana as per exit no, polls. Northern Telangana is the bastion of the Telangana no, movement, which shows that people have lost share in the KCR KTR duo. But what is besides the point? How is the India alliance going to challenge the BJP in Uttar Pradesh? The road to Delhi goes via Lucknow. The BJP got 73 seats out of 80 seats in Lok Sabha 2014 and even in 2019 we got 62 seats out of 80 from Uttar Pradesh. The Congress got one seat in Lok Sabha 2019 from Uttar Pradesh. The Congress got zero seats from Rajasthan in Lok Sabha 2019. The Congress got just one seat from Madhya Pradesh in Lok Sabha 2019. Madhya Pradesh, Uttar Pradesh, Rajasthan and Gujarat account for 160 
कांग्रेस विंस तेलंगाना देन इट विल बिकम मोर अग्रेसिव एंड मोर असर्टिव इफ द बी आर एस लूज इज तेलंगाना देन टीएमसी आप JDU, all parties will think that are they losing out and is the Congress gaining? As a result, Anab, I don't think you will do much Anab, seat Anab, sharing. You will not do much seat sharing in Delhi. The Samajwadi Party will not do much. You will not Sabse give your political space. Modi is coming back in 2020. You will not give your political space. 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 अंजलि जी आप बोलिए क्या अनुराग जी सबको रोक देते हैं भी तो लोकतंत्रिक अधिकार है कि अपने मैंने उनका नाम लिया तो वो जवाब दे आपने सबके लोकतंत्रिक अधिकारों को हड़प लिया है आप जरा मुझे बोलने दीजिए बीजेपी अंजलि जी आप बोलिए मैं क्या करूँ इंडिया लाइन्स में क्या पावरफुल but it will have to be uh, uh, it will have to behave like uh, big brother and uh, uh, priyanka vadra ladki ho lad sakti ho campaign failed in uttar pradesh uh, 2020 campaigns without uttar Just pradesh you cannot win lok sabha polls get that loud and clear ladki ho lad sakti ho was the please yes campaign mantra bhai bhi congress aap ko hoti hai aap ko to aadha se zyada anjali tihar jail mein hai aap ke aadha se zyada neta to madam tihar jail mein hai ha ji anjali jo ko bol rahe the sachu ho mujhe anjali ji please continue volim dar anjali my party is not a national party in the real sense of the term maine sawal unko pucha tha anjali ji ko pucha tha sanju anna anna aadha se zyada neta yahan baithkar bhashan mat dijiye anna anna boliye anjali ji आप अनब कांग्रेस एंड द अदर पार्टीज ऑफ ऑल द एलायंस ऑफ इंडिया एलायंस विल हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट इट इज नॉट अबाउट देयर एक्जिस्टेंस इट इज नॉट अबाउट देयर वेल ओनली इट इज अबाउट सेविंग द डेमोक्रेसी एंड कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन इलेक्शंस आउट ऑफ लाउड ऑफ अंजलि प्लीज यार अंजलि जी बोलिए इट इज टू सेव द कंट्री अंजलि लाउड इट इज टू सेव राजसभा इट इज अबाउट it is to save the democracy and constitution of the country it is to save the sanctity of probing okay, agencies okay sanjeev now yeah okay it is I... to save the country from divisive sanjeev sanjeev sir hum to rajniti badalne aaye hain aur unke saare ke saare nita bihar jail mein hai okay ladies and gentlemen i think it's a 50 50 kind of situation right now but 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 i have but but you know i think all states will give a deliver decisive verdicts Very very interesting. I like it to be fifty fifty because that makes the run up to twenty twenty four less boring. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, two big debates coming up with Abhishek Kapoor on the other side.